Puraitsu appeared before a three-man panel educators is represented by Young and Williams lawyers. With him in court today was opposition leader Belden Dama and former Hela governor Francis Potape. Puraitsu's lawyer Greg Shepard made written submissions basically telling the panel that it took an unreasonable time to conduct a tribunal for Puraitsu. These submissions were objected by public prosecutor Pondros Kaluwin on grounds that a tribunal must be allowed to continue in the interest of justice. Kaluwin also stated that it took a long time to conduct a tribunal because of the lack of access to evidence and other documents. The charges of misconduct in office relates back to 2003. It involves allegations of double dipping in allowances, improper receipts of fuel charges, and misappropriation of district grant funds. Since Purais was referred to a leadership tribunal by the Ombudsman Commission in June 2009, Purais has made several applications to the Supreme Court in attempts to dismiss this matter. The latest being dismissed by the Supreme Court last December with the Supreme Court ordering for a tribunal to commence. In welcoming the Supreme Court's decision, Puraitsu who has denied this allegation, says a leadership tribunal is a chance to clear his name. It's essentially it. Yes, yes. The matter is adjourned to next Tuesday afternoon for a decision. Meanwhile, Puraitsu remains the member for Aitapelumi and can perform his duties as Minister for Foreign Affairs and Trade. Takla Gunga, National MTV News.